each fairy godmother clutches her christening gift. A cuddly soft toy, flop-eared, deep-furred, bright-eyed, twelve in hand, a ready-made infant's womb, or court of domestic and exotic and heroic beasts. Any mother should be pleased with such gentle baby gifts. But the queen's white lips. Shaking in her golden shoes, she's remembering, as ever, the ever forgotten guest, that final fairy at the feast, with her cross eyes, her cross bones, her cross hairs, cross grain, of course, and crocheted long crossed off every Saint King's invitation list, but ever present nevertheless. The queen goes pink, goes pale, goes livid, remembering her repeating with such relish the family curse. Whatever it is they give you, you will be wanting more. And so it's been. The prim princess royal gifted with itty bitty knitted booties now acquires shoes. So many. She will never go sleep shod, or round heeled. A pair for every collar thread in every Persian carpet in the castle, where amidst the silver and the crystal sleepers, she keeps even kitchen clocks, some for meat, some dairy. And now this soft one, swaddled in her pads, from here on for sure, if it is soft. She will want it, whine and pine for it. Off fleecing hands and brimming boohoo eyes. No naps without her stuffies. No snacks without her stuffies. No pageant trick without a crush of stuffies. Cuddled with her in the coach. Temper at your risk. Soft will sink you. Suffocate you. Fluff and plump, and cushion you to death. The queen sees her daughter's life unfold. Twelve feather beds to lie on. Twelve eider quilts heaped over. Twelve comforters of foam and froth and peach fuzz hushed on top. And brown squirrels, gray squirrels, red squirrels, chicory. And beer, ice beer, skunk beer, grizzly, grizzly, sloth, caracol, and cashmere, bush baby, I I, sea mew, booby, auk, ermine, sable, mink, not to mention marable, soft and softer, cushy and cushier. She will want the clouds next. Someone's going to pay and pay.